Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work on solving this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, I'm going to read the problem. It is the following. Is four sheets of four foot by eight foot drywall enough to cover a 20 foot by eight foot wall with two four foot by five foot windows? Okay, so that is the uh, problem. But just in case uh, some of you don't know what drywall is, that's a pretty common uh, construction material used for walls and ceilings. Um, it's also known as sheetrock, but that's basically what it is. And it's sold in sheets. Well, at least it's a pretty common way to sell uh, drywall is in sheets, which basically is a board that has a four foot by eight foot uh, size. Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. But the question is, is this amount of material enough to do this job? In other words, to cover this wall with these two windows. So basically, this is a yes or no uh, kind of question. And the answer is yes, we do have enough material with these uh, four sheets of drywall. Okay, so if you figured this out, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in basically calculating surface area because that's effectively what this problem involves. It's a basic surface area uh, problem. And it's also a great uh, illustration of practical mathematics. Probably a lot of you out there have a lot of uh, experience in construction or do-it-yourself projects. And this is the type of math that you need to kind of use and reason through to figure out, hey, do I have enough money to do a job? Because that money or a particular budget is all you have to get a certain amount of materials. So again, uh, this is a good example of practical mathematics. But if you didn't get this right, no problem. You'll see how easy it is to do or easy it is to solve in just one second because I'm going to go ahead and start explaining this right now. Okay, so here is our problem. Now, with any math word problem or any problem, like a practical um, you know, problem that you're facing, let's suppose you are doing a home project. You want to make sure you understand and you define uh, the project or you define what you're trying to do. Okay, now in this case, uh, what we're going to try to do here is define the question. And of course, the question has, uh, you know, input uh, values into or input, uh, you know, various information that we need to consider. Okay, so in order to really understand what's going on, I like to use the rule of three. In other words, think about the situation and really go over it at least three times in your mind and uh, really understand what the question is. Now here, the question is, hey, do we have enough material to do this job? But, uh, you know, this problem right here is not so easy to, um, you know, just look at what's going on, look at the numbers. Now, of course, a lot of you out there can probably do this even in your head. But uh, for those of you that are not familiar with, you know, working with construction material or doing these kind of calculations, the best thing to do is to visualize or model the problem. So that's what we're going to do. You come up with a basic sketch of the scenario so we can see what's going on. Of course, we have this amount of material, four sheets of four by eight, four foot by eight foot drywall. Okay, that's what we have. And we want to know, if, is this enough to cover this wall with these two windows? So let's go ahead and take a look at a simple model or sketch, i.e. we want to visualize the um, you know scenario, the problem. Okay, so here is my lovely wall. Now, it's a 8 foot by 20 foot uh, long wall, but it has these two windows right here, 4 feet by 8 foot windows. Now, what does this tell me? Well, we're not going to cover, well, at least it should be implied, that you're not going to cover uh, the sheetrock or the drywall, excuse me, over the window. So we don't need to, you know, uh, use the material or uh, drywall, you know, in this area right here. So the only uh, area we need to consider in terms of, 
um, doing this job is this area right here, not counting the window dimensions. So how can we do this? Well, we have to consider um, what we have to work with. Now we have four sheets of four foot by eight foot drywall. So this drywall, we're gonna have to kind of slice it up and kind of, you know, basically cut out the portions here to do this job. So in other words, it's four of these enough to do this job. Well, the best way to answer a question like this is to consider this not by dimensions. In other words, well, you have, uh, you know, eight feet here, 20 feet here, and basically try to figure out the dimensions of how many um, little segments you need to do this job. The easiest way to uh, determine what's going on here is just look at surface area because surface area is coverage area. So if we can figure out how much coverage area one of these sheets um, you know, can handle and then how much surface area we need to actually um, you know, do uh, to complete this job, then we can actually see if these four sheets is enough to cover the uh, situation right here, i.e. this eight foot by 20 foot wall with these two windows. Okay, so that is the strategy. So let's go ahead and get into the math right now. Let's take a look at the uh, sheetrock or the drywall. I keep calling it uh, sheetrock because that's a very common term as well. By the way, if some of you out there know another term uh, other than drywall or sheetrock, uh, sheet please put that into the comment section um, uh, as well because I just simply find that interesting. Okay, so here is our uh, drywall. We have four sheets again. Uh, most, um, at least in my experience in, in the United States and probably in North America, most common way, uh, sheetrock or again, <laughs> drywall is sold is in uh, four foot by eight foot dimensions. But you can also, of course, get other dimensions, but this is the most common way. So we go to our local home center, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever the case is, and we buy four sheets of drywall. Now, how much coverage area does one sheet have? Well, what we need to do is calculate the surface area, okay, of one sheet. And that's simply just the length or the length times the width, okay? The area in this case is also the surface area, all right? So it's simply the length times the width. So four uh, feet times eight feet is 32 feet squared, okay? Now, we want to make note here that this notation is in feet. So feet times feet is feet squared. This is area. So one sheet of drywall can cover 32 feet squared. Okay, so that is how much we have per uh, for one sheet. But we actually have four sheets. So four times 32 gives us a total of 128 feet squared. That's how much um, area we can cover with these four sheets of drywall. Okay, so now that we know that, let's go ahead and see how much our job uh, requires us to, or how much um, square feet um, is needed to do this job. So we're going to have to do a bit of calculating. Not too difficult, but again, we need to understand what we want to do here. We don't want to put drywall over the window. So we have um, an 8 foot by 20 foot wall. So one way we can kind of think about this is say, all right, we can get the entire surface area of the wall, but that we don't need this entire amount because this would basically have all the drywall covering the window area. What we want to do is get this um, coverage area and then subtract away the coverage area of these two windows. Now, one window is a four is four foot by eight foot, so that is going to be the surface area that would be occupied if, in fact, there was no window there. But we have two of these, so we want to subtract away the coverage area of these two windows, and that's going to be how much we need in order to do this job. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't stop, uh, stop this lovely math video if it wasn't really important for me to ask for your support. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is to reach as many people as possible, people that are uh, interested in math, uh, but really people too that need help in math that you know just simply aren't getting the math instruction they that they need to understand the concepts and unfortunately that leaves a lot of people frustrated they're like I don't like math because I just don't get it well you know typically 99% of the time people who are frustrated with math just are simply not getting the right uh, instruction okay and the right encouragement as well let me just also say this if you are a student and you're frustrated please do not give up let me just tell you two things here real quick and then we'll move on to the problem number one 
uh, there are no shortcuts. Okay, so if somebody's telling you, you know, oh, there are shortcuts, you don't have to work hard, that's wrong. You're going to have to give your full commitment. Uh, but if you give your full commitment, the second thing you need is a teacher that can explain things in a way you like and understand. Basically, you need full comprehensive instruction. So if you are a student and you're taking you know, pre-algebra, geometry, whatever the case is, check out the uh, links uh, in the description of my video. These are my main courses. So if you are in a course, you can get course support from me that way or just on my YouTube channel. But anyways, let's get back to this problem. But uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell as well so you get my latest videos. All right, so back to this problem. So we have this wall with these two windows. So how can we calculate the surface area? Again, we figured out that let's just get the area of the entire wall and then we'll subtract away the surface area uh, of these two parts right here, which would be where the windows are going to go. All right, so the wall is going to be eight foot by 20 foot. So we'll just go eight uh, times 20. Of course, that's 160. Now I'm just going to uh, assume that we understand that we are talking about square feet. So this 160 square feet minus two four foot by five foot windows. So four uh, times five is 20, but we have two windows. So that's 40 uh, square feet of coverage area that we don't need in terms of um, our job here. So we have 160 uh, square feet for the wall. Let's subtract away where those windows are gonna go. So that's 120 square feet in order to do this job right here, okay? So in other words, to do the entire job, but not counting those window areas, because of course we don't wanna put drywall over our windows, that's not a good thing. So that's what the job would require, 120 uh, uh, square feet. And we know already that our four sheets of, of uh, drywall, okay, gives us a total of 128 square feet, so you can see we will have eight uh, square foot left after we do this job. Okay, so again, uh, an example of practical mathematics. And, you know, we use math, uh, you know, so often. You know, one of the things that a lot of math students, uh, you know, I've heard throughout the years, and I'm sure I was saying it as well, is like, hey, am I ever going to learn this or use this stuff in real life? You know, algebra, geometry, and you know what, quite frankly, uh, you know, you're not going to be doing algebra on a daily basis, all right? I'll just be pretty much honest, unless you're an engineer or you're involved in mathematics. But are you using your math skills? Are you analyzing? Well, yes, I think pretty much every single day you are using your math skills. And uh, one last comment on that. If, you know, you want to kind of get better with math or kind of relearn the math that you forgot, check out my new uh, latest course. I'm going to leave a uh, link to it in the description of this video. It's called my math... Uh, math skills rebuilder course and basically it's just a great little course self-paced course that you can take to kind of refresh and relearn all those forgotten math skills that maybe you learned 30 40 50 years ago because the more math you know the better at least that's the way i feel about it okay so with all that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day